Hey guys, it's Slade, and I'm showing you a way how to root your Nexus 7 device. Now, there's many ways to root your Nexus 7 device by using Super Boo or forcing it with um, a Clockwork mod or any of that. Right now, I'll actually be showing you how to use a toolkit that's made by Sombra, M Sombra from the XDA forms. So, this method will actually install a Clockwork mod and Force the the recovery to install either su or super um, super su or super user. Now it also helps you unlock your bootloader if your bootloader is locked, and um, if it is locked, as you can see in the big red bold words right here, all data will be wiped, meaning all data. We're talking about media, um, music, videos, music, um, pictures, and all that stuff you have in there will be gone if you unlock the bootloader. Now we have that already set and said and done. Uh, you already have the instructions here, but I'll be showing you a video how to do so just in case people are kind of like not knowing what to do. First, you go download the file, you click download, and I already have mine's downloaded on my computer. And you could just screw this, this thing is going to take forever. Um, so, once it's downloaded in your computer, you should have a file. Um, named Nexus Root Toolkit version 1.1 and within that file you should have Nexus 7 Rule Toolkit inside that file again there's a bunch of folders in here um, you should have your drivers, recovery, SU, tools and root applications once you have that make sure you install your drivers according to your uh, bit version of your Windows device I have a 64 bit so I installed that I recommend doing this so don't be arrogant saying oh I don't want to install a driver I got all the drivers I'm the driver king I got drivers between my legs no you can't say that because dude once you install the recovery menu the um, the clock will recovery there's a situation where some people um, your device won't be read on your Windows device because it will require a grouper driver and sometimes you won't have the grouper driver um, if Windows can't find it. So these drivers will actually be using installing a driver based on PDA PDA net application so don't freak out when you see it like what the hell is that? Um, it's just installing it based on Android drivers necessary to use it of the application itself. You don't need to use the application at all but um, make sure you click on other when it's selecting manufacturers Android devices. So actually let me show you the process so you guys can understand what I'm talking about and you see PDA net setup so that's the application but it's, we're actually using the drivers that's going to install to see um, to help you do this I already have this file and when you have that set um, USB drivers found you say yes um, I'm installing for the heck of it and let's see you put other, you're not sure, and like, yeah. Um, once you have that, I should have my drivers already set up in here, so I don't need to be doing all that stuff. But once you have that already set and done, you should just, um, you should just go straight to the application root. And once you have that, this box will appear with some cool animation. You could actually remove these animations if you go by the pro version if you want to support the, the converter uh, once you have that it's done you press any key and it will be telling you to make sure your device driver is installed as I told you already before um, connect your tablet to the, um, via USB and make sure it's recognized I recommend you to uh, put your device in USB debugging mode so to do that as you can see my device is here I have in tablet mode it's already rooted but I'll be showing you how to I'll be rebooting it I guess so you go to settings and you go to developers options and you make sure that USB debugging is on so once you click on it it'll say allow USB debugging say ok and once you have that set you're all good to go now once you have that done make sure you connect your Nexus 7 to your computer and once that happens, um, during to my personal experience, sometimes my Nexus 7 is not read as a ADB device, 
due to due to it being connected in MTB mode, MTP mode. So I recommend you, in my experience, if you have a situation where it's not being read on your on the converter, go to camera PTP, and it'll just reconnect the Nexus 7 to your computer. And once you have that, keep just continuing to press by pressing any key. Once you have that, it asks you if your bootloader is locked or unlocked. Remember, if it's locked, your it will actually unlock your bootloader but wipe all the information on your device so make sure you have all your information backed up if you have your bootloader locked now I have my bootloader unlocked so press OK so it will ask you which one you want to use for a sued um, compliant or management so you have super user or super sue I use super sue personally anybody it's your choice you know I enjoy your choice whatever you want to want so press 2 press enter mm -hmm. and now saying waiting for device mm -hmm. now my device just booted into bootloader mode as you can see and mm -hmm. as you can see in the screen it just flashed in the uh, recovery and the top left I know you can't see it on the camera but it should be saying receiving mm -hmm. downloaded match something like that I just missed it now don't worry what's on the converter will be saying something not found for recovery boot is not found so it'll be mm -hmm. installing super sue inside and once it's done google your nexus device should be rebooting back to its normal state with mm -hmm. super sue or super user of your choice inside now it's that simple it's not that hard to do this um, and once you have this done you could actually customize your device based on your needs you can install some ROMs and some kernels um, watch out on what you install um, at this time of recording not many people have the Nexus 7 so if you see a ROM or a kernel out watch out what do you what you install because you never know it actually could really break your device badly that even factory imaging can't put it back to normal so just a word of advice um, as you can see, we have our next sign back to normal. And we'll go to applications, and we should see a. Where is my super sue? Super sue, right there. Now, continue, and super sue should be okay. And it's also, so now you have root access. So there you go. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And in the next video, I'll be actually doing comparison between tablet UI and a normal. Um, Nexus 7 UI and showing you a little bit of comparison how each um, UI performs if you actually want to mess with your DPI and make a difference to have a more tablet feel on your device. So guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you the next time. Stay blessed. Bye.